Hi, my call sign is Foxtrot 1 Alpha Tango Bravo. I present today Remote SDR version 5. Remote SDR is a system to manage a transceiver, a transmitter and a receiver uh, based on SDR, based on software defined radio. What is our SDR? First, SDR, let's take uh, this one. This is a famous one called RTL SDR, the cheapest one, around 20 euros. Uh, with this system, you can uh, digitalize any signal coming to the antenna and transmit the digitalized signal to any computer. Let's, let's take an example. You have a signal around 145 megahertz, the 2 meters band. Uh, the band plus or minus 1 megahertz is just digitalized and transmit to a computer. This is what we call a software defined radio. The computer then will do all the processing. We'll see that later. On the market, we have today uh, different SDR. Uh, this one, the well known one, RTL SDR. You can find it on the market on different packaging. Uh, you have, uh, for example, here the AKRF1, which is interesting. It's a system which can work as a receiver but also as a transmitter. Half duplex, so it can work transmitter or receiver but not at the same time. The antenna, and you can digitalize any signal between 1 megahertz and 6 gigahertz. So it covers perfectly all the main bands of the ham radios. Uh, Adam Pluto, well known also in the uh, amateur radio community. Uh, Adam Pluto is interesting because it, it can work in receiver mode and transmitter mode at the same time, so full duplex. Uh, it works only between 300 meg and 7 gigahertz, uh, but you, it can be modified also. Interesting solution also this add-on cutter. Uh, now in version 5 of Remote SDR, I've introduced uh, the family of the SDR plate. SDR plate, here the RSP1A, which uh, works between a few megahertz up to 3 gigahertz, so covering perfectly uh, all the amateur band in, uh, with, in reception only. Uh, it is interesting this model because it has a high dynamic of 14 bits uh, to uh, digitalize all the signal, which is very interesting in HF, where you have important dynamic between low signals and high level signals. Uh, you have some copy, Chinese copy also, of uh, this SDR play, which is, here is the equivalent of the RSP1 with only 12, 12 bits of dynamics, but interesting system two different models uh, interesting for the price it costs around 20 euro 20 dollars only on the chinese market so in the front you have uh, sdr which digitalizes uh, all the signal coming to the antenna uh, but behind you need to have uh, some signal processing done on a computer in the case of remote sdr version 5 we used uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 4, version 4, B, uh, with 2 gigabytes of memory, this one. You can manage at the same time the transmitter and the receiver. You, so you can con connect any SDR I presented to you, and all the signal processing is done on board this uh, computer, microcomputer. Which is very interesting in the case of remote SDR uh, is that uh, you can locate the SDR itself and the processing close to the antenna. So you have don't loss of uh, signals uh, due to the lens of the coaxial, coaxial cable. And also you can have the system located to the antenna and you visualize everything seated in your office using a simple web SDR. A, web, a simple web um, page. So it's a very interesting solution where the HF and the processing part is located close to the antenna and at any distance you can uh, visualize and listen to the different audios uh, 
just seated in your office uh, behind your PC and you open a simple web browser like Chrome, like Edge, like uh, Firefox and you can listen uh, and manage all your transceiver, your receiver and your transmitter. So very, very interesting solution. You can even uh, share your receiver with uh, some uh, other old men or ham radio guys or some other some colleagues. Uh, we can install this on a Raspberry Pi, which is a very uh, interesting uh, microcomputer, but there are some others, like for example, uh, Zero Inch Pi Zero Two. You can see here it's a Chinese uh, processor. Uh, you can see uh, the Ethernet uh, link and also the Wi Fi antenna. So you can communicate by Wi Fi with your uh, HF part located uh, close to your Hi, we are now in front of Freeboot SD version 5. Uh, this is a system uh, dedicated to the satellite QO100. It's a complete transceiver. Uh, so a receiver and a transmitter dedicated to Q100. Uh, so in the center part here we have all the parameters uh, for the receiver. The main frequency we just listened to. Uh, well, red button to just saying that uh, we are the audio is currently on. And the right part here you have all the part dedicated to uh, the transmitter, to the frequency of the transmitter and the possibility by pushing this uh, blue button uh, to transmit. On the left part here we have some parameters, uh, some information on the audio channel we receive. First how the samples are arriving and uh, then uh, also uh, some spectral analyzers uh, to control the signal which is received and also it helps to give a report to any uh, correspondent. You have an S, S meter also. Uh, in the half uh, bottom, we have uh, the classical uh, spectra representation. We have here a band of uh, 500 kilohertz uh, adapted to the narrow band uh, system of a Q100. Uh, we have the classical amplitude versus frequency representation, and we have also the waterfall uh, representation. So, uh, frequency horizontally, time vertically, and level in brightness. So, this is the uh, principal configuration or main page of a remote uh, SDR. Uh, we have also some possibility to adjust uh, the spectra of the signal we receive, the audio spectra, by increasing or decreasing the level of the low frequency or high frequencies. We can also manage an extra output if you want to connect uh, an additional software to the audio channel, for example, to decode the digital uh, data. Uh, you have also on the transmitter side uh, an equalizer to modify the spectra of your uh, voice on uh, the transmitter side. So you can increase or decrease the uh, level of uh, the high frequencies. You can also inject a signal coming from an external source instead of uh, the microphone. You can decode signals in uh, single sideband, amplitude modulation, narrowband frequency modulation and wideband frequency modulation. You have also the capability today uh, to work in RTDY, RTDY in transmitter and receiver side. Uh, this is uh, possible now with version 5 of uh, remote uh, SDR. This is a quick view of remote SDR version 5. Now you can um, go on my website fox one alpha tango bravo.fr where you can download the source code to be installed on the Raspberry Pi or Zero Branch Pi. 73 and maybe one day on Q100 using remote uh, SDR version 5. Cheers, bye bye.